for the moment, I'm going across to Wasim Kadri, who is the petitioner's arguing counsel, also a senior lawyer at the Supreme Court, joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Wasim Kadri, thank you uh, very much. A lot of people, many, many people are saying this is a landmark judgment. In your view, is this a landmark judgment and why? Yeah, this is land uh, landmark judgment because of the reason that this judgment has, is not dealing only with the small issue whether a lady, divorced lady, divorced Muslim lady is entitled to file application for maintenance under section 125 of the CRPC or not. This is not the only issue which has been decided in the judgment. This issue has been decided. In fact, mm. there is a settled law. There were some conflicting judgments. So finally, Supreme Court has given, a, 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 you know, two judges judge have simply uh, uh, decided on the basis of previous judgment. One of the constitutional judgment is there. But Justice Nagrata has given a separate judgment uh, where she is dealing with the common you know, it is like a woman empowerment. She is not talking about mm. the Muslim divorced woman or Muslim woman. She is talking about the general common common people, mm. common uh, uh, means the, the lady, okay. whether she is divorced or she is not divorced. Uh, she, she has, uh, you know, she is saying that for the purpose of social justice, for their upliftment, what should be done? Mm. And she, she has explain in the judgment okay. which has never been explained in any other judgment mr kadri i just want to point out uh, to our viewers that the judgment today was actually against you but you're still saying this is a landmark judgment and you're saying it's not just because of what the supreme court has said and done where it comes to alimony for muslim women but for all women in this country see in this judgment there is a, a special feature which says that if a lady, even, uh, you know, during the subsistence of the marriage, because the issue of maintenance mm. arises when somebody is divorced or somebody is deserted, right? But this judgment talks about a lady where the marriage is subsisting, both are living together, but court is saying that so the, the lady who has no source of income, she is maintaining house, she is a housewife, a separate account should be opened and some amount towards the day-to-day towards the -day, uh, uh, expenses should be deposited, a, a ATM may be opened, something like that. These are mentioned in the judgment. So this is a special feature. Okay. And this does not talk about the Muslim woman or divorced Muslim woman. It talks about the common woman. Which, which will be applicable upon each and every okay. lady who is who has no source of income. Mr. Kathi, but I just want to point out to you and all our viewers as well that these were just observations. There is no judgment that says that husbands now have to have joint accounts with wives or they have to share the ATM pins with their wives. These observations have been made on the basis of previous judgment and uh, it, it talks about the social justice. So even if there is no direction, it will have a persuasive value. And like, you know, a presidential reference. Presidential reference is given by the president of India and five judges give a judgment, uh, means judgment on that. It is not binding, but it has a persuasive value. Similarly, in this case, it has a persuasive value and it can always be any time a lady who, who, who wants some help, she can take help of this uh, this uh, judgment what? and no lower court will dare to uh, ignore it. Okay, Mr. Kadri, uh, we'll see, uh, you know, we, we'll see the impact of that judgment and the observations uh, as we go along. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I've done. Uh, today's judgment is in two parts. One, 
uh, it is very clearly saying that Muslim women deserve alimony. It is their right. So the first part of our discussion, about 10 minutes, is going to be about that. And then the next part of our discussion is going to be about the larger picture that the Supreme Court has painted for us as far as homemakers are concerned. Uh, the Supreme Court is making some very important and valid points about how homemakers uh, often are made to feel financially insecure. Many of them actually leave their jobs to bring up their families. In this case, there needs to be a mechanism to make them more secure. But that is something we'll talk about uh, in, after 10 minutes.